supposed to be outdoors camping base camping a couple of days ago but you did destroy the washing machine we have at home didn't you oh well you can come with me camping I know you like it in the woods well guys I need to apologize for um, um, not being able to post a video uh, yes my washing machine actually get broken and I have my daughter that has been sick and I was actually trying to uh, get outdoors yesterday uh, but uh, the thing is uh, that I wasn't allowed to actually park there so I, I had to pack my things and it was pretty late and I need to find one new place today and I'm at this new place. Uh, I haven't seen a boom uh, at the road, so I was actually allowed to drive up here and set up my base camp for this Christmas um, overnight. I have Rampenissen with me, I have some good beer and drinks with me, and I even have my own Christmas tree. So uh, this is bound to be pretty cozy today. You really know what the rampen is? Well, that's the um, Santa that uh, do a load of uh, travesuras. I think is uh, what is called in in English. Rampen is the ram elf. <laughs> So it's uh, normally done, does a lot of things uh, every every now and then. Oh, okay, so I cannot wait for one uh, beer today. We're gonna bring Vimonopoule beer, and this is the Dals Juler. What well, is normally my favorite? So I have this so it doesn't slip. I didn't actually have the last time, but I forgot. And I bought it specifically for the base camp. Dals Juleul from Trondheim, where I went across Norway. Oh, it's a bit too dark, isn't it? Uh, let me see. I, I my um, my um, camera display got broken, so I actually need to use the phone. Uh, so it's a bit more ha also of a hassle, and probably probably uh, need to fix it. I uh, actually f uh, sold the other one that I had. And the lamp upstairs you already. It's already gone. Uh, it's a circulator. The battery is cr pretty crappy though. Uh, it's a circulator to put the, the give the give the warm um, inside the, down again from the oven because most of the uh, the warmth goes up 
and then you need to bring it down but uh, okay so this is actually my 48th I, I need two overnights more outdoors to make it to 50 but you know that you know what it's been so stressful the last days for me that I just gonna give it up I realize now that um, you have to be good with the moment uh, you have uh, an uh, appreciate the moment, live in the moment, uh, basically. Um, sorry about the bad uh, focusing. Um, this is a manual lens, so I will try to make it a bit better. Um, but um, yeah, you have need to have goals in life as well, you know. But uh, I just giving up the reaching 50. Uh, because it's stressful and being outdoors is not about even if you walk the PCT, the CDT, the long distance through hikes across Norway along Norway, El Camino Santiago it isn't by stressing, it's about being in the moment and appreciating every step you make and the same thing goes to the life's outdoors. I'm just gonna lock that door because it's chilly. It is minus 13, guys. Oh my god. So, um, I don't have the big battery with me because you never know. How, how much I work to get out this place here. Uh, it was super exhausting actually to go outdoors. Just gonna put more some more wood here as well. Ow. Oh this shouldn't be this shouldn't be there. Uh, I need to just relax because when I am stressing I do Things wrong. Uh, that thing to open the oven, though. But there. Uh, there we go. Just gonna put a, another one there because. Oh well. Not a big deal. We're gonna put this there. Yeah, you need to have goals in life, but um, I think it's, the, it's about uh, gratitude and being in the moment more than goals. Goals are important. Goals are super important, just to, that's it. So I'm satisfied with 48 nights overnight this year and I just realized by um, uh, that was the difficulty of getting a base camp uh, it's not pretty difficult to to be outdoors to get outdoors but here in Norway but it's just too close to Christmas and the logistics uh, when I c actually can get outdoors when my wife is working my wife has actually a new uh, job now new uh, stealing new job uh, and she has more uh, responsibility as well so woohoo cheers for that and my youtube channel is actually also now um, a little company uh, on my name um, so um, yeah we just need to you know uh, figure out the logistic when I can actually go outdoors and stuff
Ah, but it's so good to be outdoors. I have my high back cheer for Kilos Gear. 10% guys, 10%! Use go to Kilos Gear slash Daniel Martinez and you will get 10% off this fantastic table and this chair. And um, probably, hopefully, a better light uh, circulator than that one that I have there. I know they have one. And I, uh, yeah, I cannot be more grateful to be uh, outdoors and just relaxing and doing the things that I love to do, which is nature. So, uh, thank you for subscribing, guys, because. Um, I'm uh, I'm very yeah, it's it's it, it it means to me a lot that you subscribe and not only view the video but just press like and subscribe and even uh, do a comment because I put a lot of work on this and I just relax doing it I don't overdo it I don't follow. Uh, I don't follow the uh, the algorithm too much, actually. I because I'm old. I'm 39 years old. I don't want to be. I I, I want to be in a work with where I can actually get some income to actually buy stuff like beer and uh, some outdoor stuff. Uh, but I don't get much income in this channel. I don't earn too much actually I, will, I try always to to do some reflection on on what if I had a million dollars you know what if I had a million dollars and what do I do I will buy a new car probably yes I will buy, buy a land a, a land so I can put a couple of micro house Yes, I'm into tiny houses. Why? I want a lamb so I can be a more outdoors. So I can go put my lava and just spend a lot of time there. That that's what I like. If not, I could be working at a store or doing whatever. But this is what I like. And it's healthy. It's very healthy. And it's good for the environment, actually. To be more outdoors, we actually need to doing that more uh, not only me but people and that's why I also keep uh, making this video so I can inspire you to get outdoors so uh, I'm pretty happy if you become an outdoors youtuber but you're not gonna earn money uh, as much and uh, and you're probably not gonna be well some youtubers are though ah and um, uh, by the way, I have one thing more that I will want to post. I need some light here because I cannot see. Oops. Oh, there we go. See, look at this. You see, it's a plane. And that's the Virgin Galactic plane. That's the... Uh, uh, Unity 1, I think. And the reason for uh, having that is we have a new sponsor for the Camino, I think. Uh, well, I, I actually talked to them. This is plain coffee. So I'm gonna put it there. With a little ramp in it, and I'm gonna make a, a photo for. Uh, for the guys here. <coughs> well, so um, yeah, plain coffee. So this is actually a tea um, coffee simplified. Just uh, add a Colombian coffee and add um, a water. And actually tasted us a uh, friend, and I was super super satisfied with the taste of it. So I will actually uh, will be using this on El Camino Santiago instead of the Via Coffee because you get actually more coffee from these plain uh, coffee tea bags. 
probably the best uh, lightweight, uh, easy to make coffee. So uh, I would really recommend it. I don't have a coupon code. Hopefully I can get one from uh, the dude that I was uh, talking for. So I'm super satisfied because I'm a bit into, into space, especially space uh, aviation and I think these uh, guys uh, have been pilots, uh, pilots that have uh, been uh, traveling on a lot and making coffee and they came up with this idea and uh, it tastes super good actually, otherwise I will, will not ask them to if they want to be a partner with me. So I will uh, probably do one um, tomorrow morning. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna start with um, the food and hopefully I can make it right. Uh, we need the oven for this and um, today we are eating pizza and we have a new pizza oven here um, so hopefully it goes well I have never tried to make a pizza this way before um, I have a backup uh, food Let's do. I have two set of gloves today, some mittens and some fire gloves. I really don't need both, but Oh, this is this is the thing about base camping is the is making things pretty pretty cozy. That's the cool thing about it. You really don't need all this stuff, like I said before. But um, okay, so that's the fire stone. I'm not entirely sure how we're gonna do this, but let me see. I have some dough because uh, already finished dough, so hopefully basically this need to be oh my god this need to be in room room temperature so it might be a bit too much All this, this been on, on hold for a long time at home <laughs> due to the washing machine. This is why I have a backup because when it comes to baking, that's my wife's job <laughs> to be honest. But I think there might be enough dough. It's a uh, yeah, for sure. Okay, I, I know how to make make this though, but uh, I've done that before. But uh, you see, it is so simple, so it doesn't get so messy on your hands when you are dealing with flour and water at the same time. You know. Okay, so I have pizza sauce. And we're gonna try to put it on as a base layer on this pizza. Now again I should probably uh, leave it at room temperature but it's actually like at least 15 degrees inside this tent outside is minus minus 13 the last time I checked. Next up we have olives 
black oils, olives. I have made a lot of pizzas, uh, but I think I have I haven't, I haven't used these uh, ingredients uh, before. Now we have mushrooms. This is only regular champignon. And we actually have two kinds. I think this might be portobello or um, aroma sop. I think it's aroma sop. Mushroom might save the world. People are saying. Yeah, that might be true. I surely love mushrooms. And put some there. You know what? I'm not gonna use the champignon because I have enough of the other one here. Well, looking good so far. Now, I'm gonna test with something that we call the Rosenkohl and that's a typical vegetable from Norway to use on um, on Christmas time that's where I bought it I don't think people have experience with the Rosenkohl before so uh, I'm gonna try Cooking is about experimenting and this is what we are actually doing right now. The whole of Cinco Jotas. The most expensive ham, jamón ibérico, from Spain. Uh, might be a bad idea to put on the pizza to be honest, but it's gonna be a couple of... a uh, couple of... Look at this goodness. This is the best ham you can actually get. I'm gonna put it on the pizza actually. <laughs> I'm crazy. There we go guys. Um, hopefully well, I have a lot, so... Oh my goodness! So good! I'm so hungry, I think I'm gonna eat it all right now. It just melts on your mouth. That's... that's... Cinco Jotas, jamón, Spanish jamón, mm. and you know what, it's so, it melts, it tastes not because the, the cerdos, the, um, the pigs eat, and they are black and they eat nuts, nuts is a good thing to eat. Expensive, good, um, good for your, it's very healthy. Now, I think what I'm gonna do <coughs> is gonna put the pizza, pizza on these uh, pots. And I might do uh, the pizza stone like that I think. I might put coal inside there. And just gonna put it like that. Oh my god. Is this too big or what? They say that the, the pan actually works so I'm gonna put that. Figure out this uh, This camera settings. There we go. And now we wait. Let me see. Check the time. 40. Let's leave it for 10 minutes and check back on it. I think the next step I'm gonna do is uh, put some uh, coals. 
uh, on the top of this uh, here. Put some coals on top. There we go. Okay, let's try this one. You'll book. Julbok is from Ringnes. <clears throat> also a Vimonopol bear, that means that it's uh, the store from the uh, government that I used to work at. And uh, this is Ringnes Julbok, 9% alcohol. And if you don't beat this, I should probably. Uh, should probably uh, ventilate this a bit. I think it's the lamp, gas and oil, everything at the same time. These things here should be open. Oh man, it's freezing. Outside, super cold. Just open that a bit and this one as well. Should be open. Be another one here as well. And one on the top. Oh my god, this guy can feel, even feel the worms from. Uh, from uh, outside the tent. Oh, I'm surely cold outside. Uh, sorry about not uh, using the sharpness guy. I kind of um, put it all perfect. I'm surely trying my best. I'm gonna take off my shoes because I uh, need to and I'm just sweating like crazy right now. And uh, so freaking warm in here is basically the whole hot, hot tent is a is an oven, and I have so much wood <laughs> that I'm, uh, I'm surely not gonna freeze today. Like I have. Spend a number of time on the tarp, but uh, under a fire, and I'll probably do that on the new year as well. Probably in the next video. But um, yeah. So um, I did something wrong because I just needed to uh, uh, be quick. I'm actually freezing on my foot, and that's because this big thug here. I have a merino wool in gingy here. Just spread my toes. This is the toe sock, you know, as you can see here. And uh, just gonna warm it, uh, put the circulation uh, again. I put in my uh, already already I can feel it's warmer and put my shoes back on because having too much layers it kills the circulation the microclimate that you have on your feet so when you think thick socks are good for winter time you need to have space on your foot. Good insulated shoe. This is not a. It's warm, waterproof, but it's not super warm underneath. I don't know. I'm not sure why I put a, a thick sock, but I, I'm, I'm surely super sure that having thick socks and compressing your foot is not the right thing to do. Immediately, I get warmth. Now my feet are actually warm as well, but my whole uh, 
freaking body is so warm right now as well. I only have my netting. Oh, it's the wrong way as well. Sorry, guys. I've been doing a lot of grounding uh, lately, and I, in the last video I mentioned the reflux. I'm feeling great right now. Great. I don't have any uh, inflammation on the body. Uh, I'm feeling so good. Not by training, not by going to the doctor, that I was supposed to go to the doctor, only by grounding and taking a break for coffee as well. But oh, oh my god, so nice to be here, guys. I cannot express this happiness. Uh, more mm. Mm. Yeah, we need to check on the pizza. I think it's been like 15 minutes well, at least I don't sweat like a pig now. For sure, where did I put my working gloves now? There we go. It's a bit hassle to be in winter time and put this away because it makes noise. This is water. By the way, this is. I, I, I normally. Um, cook um, water, boil water, it's, uh, that's because the army, the army, holy macaroni man, look at that, holy shit, well that, that looks great, I'm just gonna check the bottom, look at that freaking pizza, and the color of the sh the ham though is not as white as you see it on the on the camera it's more red it's like wine red it's super good holy shit that looks so good man <laughs> i can't wait and then my only concern is how to actually detach this from this uh this ground here without breaking the whole freaking thing because it's uh... oh my god I'm just gonna eat from the pizza stone you're not gonna I'm gonna think if I can I put a bit more coal on the top and just leave for three four minutes Just to keep this uh, little cold. In place. <laughs> oh, this is starting to be better than I thought. Looks uh, pretty much done, I think. Oops. Okay. I'm gonna But uh, yeah, it cannot be oven perfect, I think, but uh, I think it might be just good enough, to be honest. this guys but uh, 
it looks fabulous, but uh, I don't want to lose this down guys. If I can, oh, he smells so good, man. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to actually take that door off. Oh. oh, it surely tastes like a very good pizza. The door, that, however, is super stuck. Like, I cannot even get any freaking. There we go. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm, just, if I could just, yeah, it's not super burnt out uh, either. Maybe I'm a bit more lucky uh, cutting from here. Holy shit, this pizza is a very good recipe. Oh, there we go. There we go. And it's super good. It just stuck to the stone, even though I put some oil on that. You know what? This actually tastes like a homemade pizza. At home. The crunchy is perfect. Mm. Oh, so good. Oh, you cannot imagine the taste that cheese with the um, ham makes. It's just so freaking good. YouTube video. How to not get the pizza stuck. The best pizza I've ever made stuck. Uh, you know, I keep freaking surprising me all the time. All the food I just made is just. I never considered me as a cook, but uh, holy shit, man. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> it's the holy grail, guys. It's the holy freaking grail. <laughs> This what I've left for the freaking super good pizza. Well, I'm watching the the mobile because uh, then I know if I am on frame or something. But um, fantastic. Ten of ten. Well, nine point nine. Apart from the the bottom that got stuck. Um, this is the fireboxed uh, pizza stone. Could be a very good crispy bottom. Uh, the parts that I could actually take. I uh, apparently oil doesn't work as well, so uh, we need to figure out how to do that uh, the next time. I'm gonna try to put some, uh, let me see, butter. Uh, what we have here is some almonds. And I'm gonna try to cam caramelize this uh, with the sugar. 
And I think uh, we have some vanilla inside here as well. Um, let me just smell this because I'm not sure if I... Yeah, it's, it has some vanilla powder inside here. So I'm going to put it with the butter and the almonds. And then I'm going to gradually caramelize this... Uh, this sugar and let's see if we can uh, make this this to work all right so uh handling with the cast iron we need only need some gloves holy shit man my feet are super warm right now let's just take care of this uh this tree i'm gonna try to sit on my wood here i'm not sure if this is the best way to do it uh, i have never made this before I just remember what my wife said to me, uh, so just stick with me. I think you're supposed to be using some kind of a paper as well. Just recall my wife say I probably should be sugar right now. Oh, it smells like Christmas already, man. Oh, my goodness. This might actually work. Oh, the smell from this is just heaven. I'm not sure how much sugar should I put. But it's Christmas, come on. Should be quite a lot. Um, bad news. You know what I'm missing? A bottle up. Mmm, it just smells fabulous. This uh, coffee should be 80 degrees right now. I can make you a good big cup of coffee, that is pretty good. Just gonna put it there. Let it sit for a second and even this is metal, I'm gonna put it on the on the old. Mmm, yeah. It's a bit um messy but it tastes pretty good. Uh, the batteries of the both cameras uh, light has died so I'm um, just gonna relax mmm oh pretty good and with these almonds I'm gonna put the Tokai away for another time and uh, gonna gonna relax with the some YouTube videos and just relax the camera. But it's actually just started snowing very, very lightly. <laughs> Last yep. night was in the twenties. Tonight we'll be in the twenties.
Huh? Is that good tonight? Ram elf. You wanna do uh, sketchy things at the home with the kids? You've been cold? Okay. You little sneaky man. Sneaky elf. Okay, so plain coffee. Oh, it smells fantastic. <clears throat> I'm gonna have some uh, boiled water in here. Ah, oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've been uh, actually like every time I can feel it's been cold. It's because I need to put wood in the uh, just a little bit on the face. Uh, it's just because I need to put wool, uh, wood on the stove. But uh, this is a highly efficient stove for a new tent. And you can even see, you have a window, so you can even see how long it lasts. So, if you, even if you lock the front door, the fl it has so good flow, so you don't need to worry uh, about it compared to the uh, uh, titanium one that might get cold uh, faster. So, uh, I packed most of my things now, it's getting actually... Uh, light uh, so we have some light outside so we have some wet wicks here I'm not, not sure if you can see it that's a very good fiber my father from Spain actually taught me how to uh, how to uh, the first time but uh, I was a little kid back then so I did like and this is the bring uh, uh a raspberry maybe raspberry uh, with a mix uh, and we're gonna put some water because that's the only thing I have here since I forgot milk this takes requires a lot of water I think it actually tastes better than uh, oatmeal you know this might be some kind of a oat, I'm not sure. But it tastes a bit different and the consistency of this is different. Okay, now we pack soon the uh, the table as well and the chair and I will uh, fly the drone and go get the car. So guys, I'm gonna head to the uh, car, it's at least one or two kilometers away, uh, so I'm gonna leave that there, all those things inside the pack instead for the oven, um, so I'm gonna drive the car at least a bit in front of here and try to take everything with me. <laughs> So I hope you like this video guys and Merry Christmas and uh, yeah Happy New Year, bye. That was the gate, I was a bit worried uh, if it will close or not, it doesn't say it's private, you never know if that's gonna be closed, but it doesn't say the it's private, you only say you have, are not allowed to make a fire after uh, the September and you need to keep your dogs at leash. So basically I'm allowed to drive a horse. Another thing, I was uh, a bit skeptical on the car uh, getting up here. 
and that's where I parked it way down on the road and uh, I have a four-wheel drive but uh, it has happened before that I have get stuck with the Outlander um, and uh, yeah that I just don't feel comfortable sometimes parking where I'm gonna camp there it is the car I like this place though I'll probably try to come back here some other time 